Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another video. So today we are going to integrate the AI behavior toolkit with the game animation sample. So we want the NPC to move like this using motion matching. Also, after recording the video, I forgot to say that this project is in 5.5 Unreal. Um, if you're using 5.4, things are going to look a little different and you won't have functions such as uh, crouching and sprinting for the AI because crouching and sprinting were only added in the game animation sample 5.5. So keep that in mind. So first off, let's go to the AI Beaver Toolkit, open the NPC base, and we want to reparent this to the sandbox character. Go to the viewport and reset the mesh and the anim class. Hit compile. Now let's add a nav mesh bounds volume to the level. Make sure it's big enough to cover the area right here where there's platforms. And we can actually test this right now. If we go to the behavior component and set the idle type to random location, distance to 1000 every three seconds, drag him to the level, and you should see him moving but not using the motion matching. Okay, so in order to fix that, uh, you need you need the, this function motion match movement. Um, if you update if you update the toolkit, you should see this function already. But if you can't update the toolkit, you can just copy this code right here. You can just pause the video and copy it. So for reference, um, this target scale is a local variable and this movement scale is a global variable. Basically what this code does is it calculates the um, trajectory of the NPC based on different uh, AI controls and adds that as an input. So it kind of mimics uh, how player input is processed and then you can see that it, this function is being called here use motion matching if it's true it uses the motion match movement so let's go ahead and enable this boolean right here hit compile and if you go back <clears throat> you can see that it's already using the motion matching animations Now the next step is to have it use the movement speed from the behavior component and have and apply that to the motion matching. So this code is what we use for handling the speed. Basically it checks if the current behavior's movement speed is not equal to the last speed. We set that and then we check if the speed is greater than 500 reset wants to sprint from the character input state to true if it's less than 250 reset wants to walk to true and then we call update input state server so the reason we have this branch right here is so that we don't call update input state uh, every frame because that will be expensive for the server so hit compile and in the behavior component, let's set the movement speed of idle to 200. Now you can see he's just walking. If we set it to 600, he starts to sprint. 
which is different from the uh, just the regular running set it to 450 <clears throat> You can see it's a little different. Now the next step is to make the parkour work. So let's just find event on parkour and we, you want to add these two functions right here. Go to the behavior component and enable can parkour. Now, if we make the AI follow us, um, let's go to the delay trigger here, add a delay of two seconds, go to follow. And then we need to use a different character. Let's open Sandbox Manny. Go to tags, add the player tag the actor and in world settings let's change this to Manny so the player character is different now and then it should follow us now the computer is lagging one sec it's compiling shaders and if you park right here it should follow us as you can see there. Um, you probably saw a few videos of AI using game animation sample already, but the difference here is this AI actually uses pathfinding. So it, it it won't parkour on things like this because the distance is just just too short it can just walk around as you can see there he just walks around um, these obstacles the only way it can parkour is if there's no other way to go there Also keep in mind that in game animation sample you can only parkour on these traversal blocks right here. Parkour won't work on things that are not the traversal blocks as you can see. Let's try out one of the guards and see if it can attack us. Let me just let me just fix the attachments here because um, the mesh kind of changed. And then let's just remove these equip and unequip functions. We don't need that for now. Um, actually, let's see if it should attack us. If you go here, set the delay trigger to attack melee. And let's remove this guy. Come on, attack us. And there you go. And as you can see, it actually strafes as well. So Also, if you're using an older version of the toolkit, make sure to copy these um, anim notify events from the toolkit's anim BP into the anim BP of the sandbox character so that the attacks and some of the projectile spawning can work. But if you're using the latest toolkit, um, there's no need to copy these. 